And now for more of our continuing coverage of the coronavirus issue. Now, of course, uh, children are broken up for the Easter holidays and maybe your child qualifies for free school meals. Well, there is help and there is support as well in the holiday period. And to tell us a bit more about this is Natalie from the East Riding Food Poverty Alliance. I hope you're staying safe, Natalie. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's a shame that the weather's gone a bit dull for the Easter um, Never holidays, mind. We're, but we're we all, at least we had a bit of sunshine. We can all cope with the weather. That's the, that's the least of our problems, I think, right now. The fact that we're absolutely. a bit, bit of a break for families. And of course, it is a bit of a, potentially a bit of a stressful time for families, particularly those where the children qualify for free school meals. But there's support out there in the East Riding, isn't there? Yes, absolutely. And there's plenty of support. So um, the East Riding Food Poverty Alliance has actually partnered up with the Department of Education and the East Riding of Yorkshire Council. And we have been developing and creating um, Easter holiday food packs and activity packs for all children that are eligible for free school meals to collect from local food banks right across the county and to take advantage over the Easter holidays. We'll let you know where all those food banks are in a moment. And it's important, isn't it, that if, you know, if, you, if your child is qualifying for those free school meals, you may as well take this offer up as well, um, because it's not charity at the end of the day, it's well-deserved, isn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. And like I said, there's activities in there just to keep the children entertained, um, you know, and get them outdoors. There's really cool little activities in the packs, but I won't ruin it. Um, there's also online activities as well that they can also take advantage of if, if the weather isn't amazing, um, which they can visit www.activeeastriding.co.uk. And there's plenty of activities online as well. Um, but no, definitely take advantage. It's, it's sitting in there waiting for people to collect so we don't want it to go to waste definitely not now at the end of the day um you know if i am a family in this particular circumstance maybe i've never ever contacted uh, an organization like yours or any of the food banks locally um what is there a procedure i need to go through is there a particular thing i have to do um, so all you need to do in regards to, to pick up these packs this Easter is um, simply visit the website where you can register. We've got a click and collect system on there, which is pretty simple to fill out. Uh, that will then allow you to book your time and slot, um, you know, for your most local food bank. And we have got them spread right across the East Riding. Um, so you can book a time on there to go and collect your pack. If for whatever reason you don't have access to the internet um, or you're limited to, to be able to do that, you can also call call us as well and we can either fill that out for you and um, or you know g give you any guidance that you need um, so that telephone number is 01482 871077 um, and we'll be more than happy to help you where are the food banks where we can collect these from in the county right so we do we do have quite a big list so we've got the hinge in bridlington um, we've got the Beverly Cherry Tree Community Centre. We've got the People's Pantry, which is in Market Wheaton, Pocklinton and Home and Spalding Law. We have the Shaw Centre in Withensea. We've got the Two Rivers Community Pantry in Goul. We've got the Hedden Community Food Bank. And we've also got Driffield, Bluff Driffield. And on top of that, just to ensure that we're really sort of reaching out to the um, other areas as well, uh, East Yorkshire Food Bank has kindly organised a road show and um, they've organised pickups from the Welcome Centre in Hornsey. Um, we've also got a couple more locations in Beverley at the Norwood Methodist Church and the Toll Gravel Church. Um, and then they're also reaching out to South Cave, Cottingham, Halton Price, um, and a, a couple of others in Brough as well. Um, so, I mean, the whole list is, is on the website. You don't have to recite all of them. Um, so you can just go on the website, obviously pick the nearest location to yourself um, and see what days and times they're operating and book yourself in whenever works best. Great news. And that support's available through the Easter holiday as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So the Click and Collect system went live last Saturday and um, so we have been running this since Monday this week um, but then obviously we'll carry on um, right through until sort of the end, the end of next week and um, taking into consideration that the food banks will be closed over, over the weekend over the Easter period but you know the, the, the Monday to, to Friday dates are available. So the main qualification is the fact that if your child gets free school meals, you can get one of these free um, uh, help and support and the activity pack. If we want to find out more, all we need to do then is uh, register. So where do we go on the website, Natalie? Yeah, so the website is www.eastriding.co.uk. 
E-R-S-P-A dot org dot UK. And, um, and like I said, you can, you can use that website to register, click and collect, um, and, and sort of go from there. But yeah, definitely take it up. The, the activity packs are great. Um, and there's, there's packs there for both primary and secondary school children. Um, and the food packs, you get a nice little recipe booklet in there to give you a bit of in, inspiration. Um, and there's some healthy, healthy snacks in there as well. So yeah, definitely take it up. Have you actually road tested that uh, activity pack, Natalie? I haven't had chance oh. yet, unfortunately, but no doubt I hopefully will next week. <laughs> I know the food banks have been having a good laugh with them, good, so good. so yeah. But I have had a quick look on the on the Active Lifestyles website, and they've got some uh, they've got some great stuff on there, um, and that Active East riding. So yeah, it's definitely it's definitely worth worth having a look at for sure. Fantastic. Have a happy Easter and stay safe, and uh, we'll talk again soon. You too. Thank you very much.